Alright guys, this should be a pretty quick one. The only thing I did, this is the bowl blend, the pinch, and I narrowed that guide. Now it's not exactly the same design as DV did with the, the guide. It's similar, but not the same. DV mowed that guide down almost a half an inch. I'm going to leave it full length if I can. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, longer, longer guides are better, even if you lose a few CFM. Uh, durability is worth it. I like, I like durable stuff. As far as our liquid, it looks... It actually looks pretty good. I don't know if it really changed a whole lot from where it was last time, but you can see, you can see some right on the guide itself. It, to me, that looks pretty good. Now, I did change the area at, the, at, at that guide interface a little bit to try to balance the roof speeds out. I don't, I don't know if I was successful. I haven't even looked at it. The valve looks good. Very similar to the last one. Just a, a blob, a blob right at that uh, evaporation ridge. Okay, you can see inside the bowl, it actually looks pretty good. We got a nice angle on our our dicum. You know, the, the vein in the guide pretty much is aimed at the direction we want it to go in. Okay, that's pretty close. I got my I got my pointer, and that's basically the the direction we want the flow to go in. We would like it to make that turn and head out right right that way. And if we take a look, here you can see the way that dicum is, is, is going up that wall. It's very close to that. So uh, that looks pretty good to me. And rem remember, these, uh, these side walls have not been done yet. So it, this port does require more area still at this point. Okay, my extra filthy flows. This is what we did last time. That was when I did the pinch. Okay, so these are the pinch flows. And these flows here are just by changing the guide. You can see the pluses and minuses. We've got two minuses right at 300 and 350. And they're very small minuses. Now, I'm not going to say our gains are big gains. They're not. They're very small gains. Small, small, small. Our peak went up 5. I'll take a 5 CFM peak, by the way. But the important point, when I was working on this guide, I was trying to even up our, our roof speeds. Trying to aim a little more little more air towards the center of the cylinder to even up these air speeds on the roof. How did we do with that? Quite a bit better. Alright. 238 and 233 without uh, doing the walls. That's pretty darn good. I, I like that. Okay. As far as our push rod numbers. This is what we had. Okay. We went up a little bit here. Equal. Up a little bit. And those were taken at 550, so it was actually passing a little more air. And as far as our I don't have enough hands, guys. Okay, these air speeds here for our pinch. And these air and I said pinch. Those are not a pinch, those are our short side radius. So we got less airspeed on our short side. Why do you think that happened? We can answer that in the, in the comments. I'm not going to give that one to you guys. And our exhaust, I finished the roof and I widened the bowl. Now, let's take a look at that. Okay. Now, when I say finished, it's very similar to DV's chunk with a few little Charlie changes on it. It, uh, it still has uh, some, 
paste ooze lines in the bowl itself. I probably will not expand that uh, unless it needs it after I do the valve job and the radius. Remember, this has still got this has still got whatever valve job was put on here, which is still better than uh, stock. But I made the roof as straight as I possibly could without going through or making it too thin. And I did a bunch of work on DV's chunk. Let me show you what I did on that. All right, I machined this big piece out so it was easier for me to actually get in here and measure that dip in the roof. Because that's really our, that's really our, our issue right there. So we can bring that down. I brought it down to about 125 thousandths or so. So I believe that's plenty Plenty of thickness on an exhaust that's right next to water like that should be, as far as I'm concerned, it should be fine. If you have a difference in opinion with that, you let me know in the comments. Now the part that's interesting is I did the roof, I brought the, the sides of the bowl out a touch, but did it really change our flows much? Let's take a look. I know, I always tend to forget the bore. Very, very similar to last time, just a little more chunky splotching. So I would say that actually took a, a step back from where it was. Okay, guys, having light, lighting issues, but the floor really did not get changed much. It, the floor basically got cleaned up. I'm going to try to keep the floor narrow. DV made the floor a little wider. I'd like to keep it a little narrower to get better air speeds on it. But uh, we'll see as, as we go, go through. Uh, the walls actually get wider as they go up to the roof, even though our outlet is rectangular. Okay? Okay, and you can see... As far as making the roof higher around the guide, you have to be really careful. Uh, I'll show you on the chunk. There really is not much metal there. I'll, I'll show you. Okay, not, not super easy to see, but you can see the port comes down and the roof just turns flat. There was all kinds of flash and stuff in there. I actually had to hit it with the bird to even get a look at it. But the roof is just completely flat, and that's a relatively hard edge where it changes from the flat roof to the angle on the the angle in the roof. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Sorry. There's not a lot of metal right in those corners, so you cannot cut them down much. I would have loved to have taken a bunch of metal out of that. It's just not there. And it's in a difficult spot. You really can't sonic it, so I wound up using a pair of calipers to measure it. Okay. Uh, I was able to get the roof relatively straight without getting too thin. Is it perfect in every way, like my wife? No. But how did we do as far as flows? Okay. These are our flows. Bowl blend. These are our flows finishing the roof and widening the bowl a little bit. So the pluses and minuses apply that from these pluses and minuses apply to this bunch. Minus minus. We did have some noise. We didn't have noise over here. We had noise, but it was still flowing a touch more. Down a touch. Plus, 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 plus. Huge gains? Not really. Not not nearly as much as I would have thought for that much work. It's, it's kind of a cool exercise showing you guys this piece by piece. Because if you only have X amount of time, you know where to spend your effort. To the bowl. <laughs> the better the bowl blend you do, the better off you're going to be. Okay, we've got 170 with a pipe. we got 173.6 with a pipe. Alright, let's check out our air speeds. Okay. Each column on the right are the air speeds in reference to the bowl blend. This page I just put the pluses and minuses on. Okay. 
plus minus minus plus minus minus plus plus minus I don't like to see that many minuses but we got we did get flow gains the point is Take a look how even those are. Take a look how even these are. Okay. 328, 314. 287, 327. 270, 220. We actually, we actually lost a little bit on our center of the port. Now, after I put a radius on there and a valve job, it will change again. So, but it's interesting to uh, to see the development as as it's going. All right, guys. I don't know what else I have to say about this. It's been a long day already. Okay, so to the one comment guy that says. Uh, DV, Andy, and I are shouldn't be doing this project, I guess we could say. Sorry, man, it's not for you. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's not your kind of project. Go bolt on some aluminum heads and go have fun. This is for guys that want to take whatever we have and make the most of it. And it's a charity project. I don't care how many hours it takes me. It doesn't matter to me. If I don't have any jobs waiting right now, and I have the ability to do this, I'm going to do it. I, you know, I'm going to do work for DV. When he asks, I, I do it. No big deal. No complaining, no whining, just when do you need it done? And uh, as far as this whole Mission Impossible project, I think I'm ahead of schedule versus everybody else. Uh... DV does want me to do two sets of these heads. I'll be honest, with the amount of work it takes to do a set of these heads, I'm going to see if we can get it all done with the stock valve size. And call it a day. Maybe I, only, I can give them the 302 heads that are done, and I can uh, do these open chambers. The only thing he'll have to do is uh, mill it if he wants to. And, uh, which we know he's going to, and, uh, and let it eat. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.